A war bow is a military weapon, a man-stopping missile, potentially a sniper's weapon. It's designed to shoot up to 300 yards. My name's Jeremy, and I've been making war bows for about 10 years now. My name's Alistair, and uh, I'm here with my good friend Jeremy. Over time, we've both developed this historical interest in, in, in archery and the doing and the making of, the, of these iconic weapons. I think that's what sort of created the bond between us, really. The history of the war bow is really rich. Edward I, when he was planning his invasions into Wales, he really came up against the power of the Welsh war bow. In this part of Wales, there's so much good timber growing around. It really suited the Welsh style of warfare. The process of making a war bow starts with a walk through a woods. What you're looking for is a piece of wood that's got to be able to stand quite high compressive forces. Once you've got that piece of timber, which is maybe seven foot long, you need to split that. Uh, you need to split it to work with the kind of undulations of, of the timber, with, with the, how it grows. Yeah, you need to follow that and work with it rather than against it. Good, there she is. Then you need to slim the bow down. See if it splits cleanly. We'll see where maybe some areas are a little bit stiff, so we need to kind of scrape a little bit more wood off to make them flex over a period of time, standing back looking at it. And that's really where the artistry of bow making comes from. It's starting to look more like a bow now. The art of making a bow is so that you've got it bending round, coming full compass, as it was called. It's not necessarily a, a, an engineered or a scientific thing. I mean, there is a degree of that, but a lot of it, you've got to trust your eye. You know what we've got to do? Yeah, Let's got shoot to it. Come on. I can't, I can't wait anymore. We're going to be uh, giving you a demonstration of the longbow and also the devastating effects that it can have upon uh, a knight in armour. We've got a side of pork, which is actually tougher than a human. Uh, and that's going to be covered over with the sort of armour that they would have been wearing at the period of Edward I, uh, which would have been a linen jack covered over with a decent quality piece of steel mail. So we've gone. It's not looking good for the pig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. How far? What, eight, nine inches, maybe? Yeah. Horrendous wounds, a like graphic illustration. Is, yeah. Good shooting, that man. Good, well done. Excellent. What, what we're looking to do is having a really rich connection with, with something which is so inherently Welsh. It's really something we, we're immensely proud of. Shooting, history, it's a fantastic mix. We love it.